Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today I have for sale the Yamaha Motif ES Rack Mount. This thing is awesome because for the last month I had been looking for another module to put in my setup. And I got two of them. I got the Yamaha TX. I think it's the what does that say? I think it's the 8Z, something like that. And I got that one specifically for a patch in it called Solid Base, I believe. And it's the patch that a lot of uh, 90s stuff or hip hop uh, tracks used. Teddy Riley used it a lot. And actually I had a sample of it on a sampler, but it wasn't sampled in the right key. So when I play it, it's not in, at, well, long story short, I got the rack mount, so I'm using that for my sound. So I decided to try to find another rack mount. And I really didn't need any more, but I'm like, you know, I like new sounds and new stuff motivates you, as you musicians know. You know, so uh, I went searching for the best rack mount out there that I don't have, because I got like seven of them right here. And what came up was the Yamaha Motif. Because my keyboard almost a decade ago was talking about how this was an awesome piece and he had to get, you know, had to get him one. He eventually did. And uh, so I just had to get the rack mount and this thing is awesome. I'm going to leave a link down here, probably two links so you can hear somebody who's actually a real piano player play it. And also another uh, a link where it gives you, I guess, more information about it because I am no keyboard player by no means. Even though I write most of my stuff on keyboard. I do not consider myself a keyboard player and I wouldn't do this justice by trying to play out of here and let you hear it. You know, so I'll leave that up to the pros. Again, I'll leave the two links down here. I just got this thing about three days ago and I paid, i say about maybe almost about $375 for it. And I'm willing to let it go for $275. I'll take a hundred dollar hit. That ain't a big deal. You know, cause there's some people that think they're going to recoup a hundred percent of their money or even more. You know, and it's different if they get it for an extremely low amount of money and uh, they can sell it for the going price, you know. But uh, I remember when a uh, guy used to come by my house and I was teaching him how to play the, the rhythm guitar. And uh, he was checking out all my guitars and I was telling him how much I paid for them and things of that nature. And he said, yeah, I got a guitar on, uh, I think he said it had it on Amazon Reverb, probably Reverb. And he said, it's just, it hasn't been selling. You know, it's been up there for like several months. Because you'll normally when I post guitars, I post them ready to be, be sold. You know, price ready to go. Not way up here and hoping that I get either what I asked for or somewhere a little, just a little bit lower. And he showed me the guitar that he was selling and the price. And I said to myself, ain't nobody paying that for that price, man. There's some people that just grab prices out of their ass and just present it to you and still love this is what everybody else is selling it for. I'm going to sell masks for a little bit lower, so masks will be the first to go. They just throw figures. And i give you one example, and then I'm going to come back to this. Sorry for digression. J. Terzi guitar is brand new. The Strat's about maybe two, maybe two and a quarter, something like that. You can get me even le less of that if you keep looking around. This one guy had his for like maybe, I want to say about $120. And that was a good price for it. And then for some reason, he raised the price to $300 fucking dollars. Like, they're not $300. No, Duke. Where are you getting your pricing from, you know? And of course, that guitar is still sitting on reverb to this day. It's been there for like two months. I'm like, ain't nobody spending $300 on this guitar, man. Where did you get your figure? And why would you think somebody would pay, overpay for a used guitar? You know, but everybody got different mindset, I guess. I don't know. But getting back to the... Uh, the, the motif. The reason why I'm selling it is I just got an expansion board for my JV880. That's my all time favorite rack mount. I'm looking at it as we speak. And one thing that I love about it is presence. It's just really big. It's just in your face, you know. And I got an extension board or expansion board, which actually it, it creates like there's actually two different JV 880s. It's the one with the regular sound patches. Then when you put the expansion board in, you get an, another group number matching uh, the number in the original board. So now it's like I got two of those rack mounts in one. I can switch over from internal to expansion at the punch of a button. So I came to the realization I don't really need the Yamaha. I mean, the Yamaha sounds good. I'll leave the stats down here because uh, I think my JV880 gets maybe 150 sounds and then external expansion board got 150. Guess how many sounds are in this thing? Over a thousand. 
I, I went through them last night. I spent 30 minutes going through them. I got sleepy and just shirt the machine off and went to bed, you know, so that lets you know how many sounds in there because I didn't even touch the tip of the iceberg as far as how many sounds. And one thing that I love about this one, and, and I really hate to get rid of it because it's the only rack mount that does this out of all the ones that I have that I'm looking at right now. It has a built-in Apagio. And I remember when I had an Apagio in my Roland D5. I used to love that thing. I used to use it all the time. You know, and it's very, very rare that you find a keyboard that have an Alpagio. And definitely a rack mount that has an Alpagio. And what's cool about this Alpagio, it gives you several different Alpagios, you know, up, up, down, down, or whatever. So you can get different types of Alpagios instead of just the same one all the time, which I had with my D5. And also, it has really nice guitar sounds in here. So when you use the Alpagio, it sounds like you're actually strumming. Instead of you hitting the board trying to emulate the strum, you just you know hit that key, that chord, and it does it does its work for you. It it does that, it emulates it. So again, I paid three seventy five. I let it go for two seventy five. This is the cheapest you're gonna find this. And if you don't believe me, go look, go on eBay, go on Reverb, go on Guitar Center, go on MusicGoRound.com, and check. The cheapest you'll find this is probably about four hundred dollars, if not more. If you can find it cheaper than $275, send me the link. And if it's one that's working, not a broke one, I'll give it to you for that price. That's just how confident I am as far as giving you the lowest price that you can get on this on this uh, rack mount. I mean, this thing is awesome. You know, it has a lot of reverbs, but again, I'll leave some of the stats down here so you guys can check it out. I'll leave you two links so you can look at professional keyboard players playing this thing. You know, it's a great deal. $275 plus $50 shipping and handling. I send it out UPS priority shipping with a signature required, meaning that someone has to sign for it. They're not just going to leave it on your doorstep and say, hey, we're done with this. It's an awesome piece, like I said, but I really don't need it. You know, I got more than enough rack mounts, but, you know, sometimes you just want to try something new. And if it wasn't for the fact that I got a expansion board, you know, the other day for my JB880, I wouldn't be selling because I'm like, hey, I keep this because this thing is awesome. This thing got some really nice piano sounds, really nice string sounds, really nice soundscapes. Because what I like in a rack mount is this because there's some people, and, and to, again, to each his own. And I see a lot of these videos on YouTube. I'm like, fuck this. I want to hear some meat and potato patches. The stuff that I could use if I'm doing a writing kind of a Frankie Beverly and Maze tune. They're not going to be using all these weird soundscapes or uh, sounds in their shit. You know, they did hardcore rolls, pianos, electric, acoustic. That's what I'm looking for. And this thing got tons of it. And it has some sound patches. I mean, some s soundscape patches. But the majority of the, the sound patches in here, like all my other rack mounts, the meat and potato, baby. You know, it's none of that. All that uh, uh, cinematic sound stuff. I'm like, I'm not trying to write a, uh, a score for a movie. I'm trying to write an R&B hip hop track, you know. And R&B hip hop tracks don't have all that stuff in it. Maybe techno do, but you know. But again, it has everything, you know. And it definitely have again the meat and potato patches. Great pen pianos, great uh, bass uh, stuff, great uh, synth stuff, you know. So again, nice drum sounds. So again, uh, yeah, I'm also leaving the link to the demo sounds in here a guy on youtube he does a lot of uh demo sounds out of rack mounts i love his channel because whenever i'm, I'm interested in a uh, you know rack mount i go to his channel he always have at least a video for each rack mount and, and he lets you hear the demos in here this is the best demo i've ever heard out of all the rack mounts i've ever heard or played or owned and i've owned and played a lot of them you know, the most of them are real shitty, cheesy sounding compositions. It's like the people that buy these units, they don't play this kind of music. And the people and the and the, the demos that they have in there, those guys don't use these kind of rack mounts. You know, so I'm like, I don't know why they haven't caught up with matching up demos to fit the unit. And the Proteus 2000 did a great job with that. They were like one of the first ones to say, hey, we got it. We're gearing this towards hip-hop dudes and R&B dudes. We're going to put hip-hop demos and R&B demos up in here. Not this jazz fusion stuff because jazz fusion guys don't use this, you know. So Yamaha got it right too. When you click on that link and check out the demo on this thing, it's, it's unbelievable. It's like, whoa, all that's in there? Yeah, all that's in there. So again, I'm going to wrap this up. 
Uh, if I don't get a take within three days, I'm just going to keep it. You know, I'm like, hey, well, you know, I don't need to get rid of it, but it would be nice just to part with it, you know, since I might not be using it as much since I got the expansion for the JB880. But again, $275, $50 shipping and handling. It goes out priority mail, United States posters. You get it within like four days. You have to sign for it. Again, this thing, this is an awesome piece. You know, it really is an awesome piece. And like I said, if I don't get any takers, because I'm literally giving it away at 275 because for 275 you um, you get an old synthesizer for that price rack mount. You just, just only like, uh, what, 64-bit. This is 100. Well, I know this is 128 polyphony, and this is, I think, 32-bit or something like the highest bit that's out there. I forgot what. But uh, I love this thing. And again, you know, uh, I hate to sell it. Let me turn it on so you guys can see it. It's like you've been talking all this time and ain't turned it on. Shut up, dude. Let us see it. Okay, I guess I got to plug it up first. It's not plugged in. I thought I plugged it in. Okay. There it is. It's in mint condition. There are no scratches. So I'm going to sign off now. So uh, if you're interested, send me a comment. Say, hey, I'm definitely interested, Morris. Man, I want to grab this. Then I say, hey, grab it. Because if, if you still send a video, it's still for sale. Once it's been sold, I'm taking this video off. I'm not even going to put soul across them. I'm just going to take it off. So there'll be no confusion. When you don't see it, you know it's gone. So if you're interested, send me an email. Say, hey, I want it. Until you send the money. Once I get your money, video goes away. Talk to you later. Take care.